Maya's dead set on playing the game. So whatever happens to Maya, I do not feel sorry for Maya. And I suggest that you, the viewer, do not feel sorry for Maya either. Because Maya is going to get what she deserves. <laughs> like, I feel no sympathy for her. What is going on guys, Ishin here. Today we're back with another Ichio horror game titled Within. Now, last Ichio horror game, the last Ichio horror game we played, almost gave us a heart attack. So yeah, hopefully this one isn't as intense, but I'm down for it even if it is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully you guys enjoy. They abandoned the God who had made them. They sacrificed unto demons whom they knew not. Okay, it's Deuteronomy. So we got a passage from the Bible. I hadn't heard from my brother in over three months, which wasn't unusual. Nick tends to disappear for months at a time, not returning my calls, and then he surfaces again as if nothing had happened. I've gotten used to it. I don't blame him considering the childhood we had. I've read somewhere that siblings with shared traumatic pasts tend to grow apart faster when they're adults. Then, last night at around 3 a.m., he left a voice message. I heard it when I woke up a few hours later. Maya, I hope you're okay. I, I know I haven't been in touch, but I just wanted to let you know. A while. I don't want you to worry though. I'm in a spot of trouble, but nothing I can't handle. I'll figure it out. Whatever you do, don't come looking for me. I'll call you when things are right. I know I haven't said this enough, but I I do love you. Always have. Bye, Maya. Goodbye sounds permanent. I must permanent. have called him dozens of times, but there was no answer. And then his phone was switched off. I took the next available flight out early next morning. I didn't sleep a wink on the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. As soon as I landed, I checked into a motel and then took a cab to the last address I had for him. In the pre-dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went, like a thing whose core was growing rotten. I don't know what kind of trouble he's in, but when we were growing up, after Ma died, when it was just the two of us, he'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. And I would save him. As I was saying, goodbye seems kind of permanent. You know. I should get this over with quickly. I'll find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Let's see. He should be at apartment 405. Hint left clicked on uh, clip. Ugh. Left click on objects in your surroundings to interact with them. Okay. The voice acting for this game, for it to be an Ichio game, it's pretty good. So far. Like, I'll have to give it that. Can't interact with this. I want to touch everything. I feel like, though, as she's walking, like her feet are heavy. I don't know. Ugh. I bet this building breaks every municipal code in existence. I could get this open with a hard push, but I really shouldn't be wasting time. I need to find Nick. I should get to apartment 405. Ugh, I should move on. I need to get to apartment 405. Oh, she has nothing else to say. Looks like there's a pipe busted up in there. It isn't a good idea to move this scaffold. It looks flimsy. I should just find another way around it. Nope, can't move it. Need to find another way around. <laughs> 
I like it. I'm definitely going to make you repeat yourself multiple times. Mm-hmm. Trash in the corridors. Classy. Just trash. I should keep moving. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gross. Looks like it hasn't been emptied in days. Just trash. I should keep moving. Okay, so we see what she's gonna say about- Oh, jeez. Whose bright idea was it to leave this open? A child might fall in. I was just thinking Somebody the same really thing. Somebody should close this shaft. It's an accident waiting to happen. Why would you leave that wide open? This is 401. That's a death trap. Or a three, that's four ten. Four oh four? Looks like four oh five is over there, so I'm gonna have to go all the way around, I'm guessing. The freak? The <laughs> the ambient noises all of a sudden. Ooh, and this Hello? It's dark over here. <laughs> the dog huh, barking. Where'd they go? There was someone just here. That didn't look like a humanoid shape to me. I don't know what you were seeing. Like, at all. It looked like well, this a is blob. It. I should just ring the doorbell, see if he answers. Although, if he's been drinking, I don't have much hope. Hmm. Let's ring it over and over again to get on his nerves. <laughs> Nothing? I guess we need to keep ringing. I guess he's either not home or he's sleeping off a drunken binge, which would not be entirely surprising. Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. So you're just gonna let yourself into your brother's apartment? Jeez. Gosh, what is that smell? Nick? Our Nick, are you here? The freak is he living? Nick? Well, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the wagon again. Oh, Nick. I sometimes think if he hadn't had that accident, if his best buddy Alex hadn't been killed, things might have turned out different for him. He was 16, driving home from a party. Alex in the passenger seat. Nick had no business being behind the wheel that night. He was drunk out of his mind. Alex was killed on the spot. Nick survived, but he could never forgive himself for Alex's death. With Ma gone, I was supposed to be the parent. Rein him in. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. I guess I neglected him when it mattered. That's on me. Jeez, that's a bit sad. How it's is he dark. living like this? This is terrible. Same thing I Would just said. Would it hurt to clean up a little? Man. At this point, your brother has some serious issues if this is how he's living. Why can't he get a bed like a normal person? Looks like he's literally living out of a suitcase at this point. He told me he was making money on a freelance web development gig. Was that all a lie? What's he doing with the money he gets? Didn't know he kept this old picture of Ma. This was taken maybe a year before she died? Before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones? Wow, their mom was old. When Ma got sick, he was eight and I was 15. We watched her waste away and die from cancer. We never knew our father. No kid should have to lose both parents so early. I was just we moved to say, with Sheba after that. She, she mostly bald, left us alone, so I had to pretty employee. much raise him. Or at least I tried. I did the best I could, but hell, I was dealing with my own demons. I guess I made a pretty poor substitute for Ma. 
I thought the cat, the the person that we were playing were, was bald, but <laughs> we just had a ponytail. I was gonna say, now come on, the characters have to be different from each other. I think I just lost my appetite. Okay. I see the door that says do not open. The bathroom's the cleanest place in here, huh? Somewhat. This says, do not open, go back. And I should listen. Yeah, let's go back. We don't want to see what's behind that door. <laughs> of course, the game won't let you actually go back. But I'm one of those people like, you don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> right, like this is going to keep me out. <sighs> Nick, are you in there? Are you okay? Open this door. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. Girl, we don't need the door open. I mean... He's probably been in this apartment for, what, 10 months now? How much would it hurt him to get a cupboard to put his clothes away? Hmm. Let's see if we can find something to... open the door with. There's got to be something, right? Garbage. What do you the have to say The first thing I'm going there? to help him do is clean this place up. That alone should bring some positivity to his life situation. What the freak? How are we supposed to open that door? I see nothing in here that's going to help us open this door. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. Um... Maybe the freak. Hello? Nick, are you in there? Quit playing. The first thing I did was try and open that door behind me. I don't like <laughs> this kind of stuff. Jeez. What the freak Hello? was Nick into? Hello? How did this door open? Nick, what the freak is wrong with you? 40 degrees in here? I don't know what that is Celsius to Fahrenheit. I see his taste in music hasn't changed. All the death metal and occult stuff he was always into. Hmm. Well, at least I know where all his money's going. But where the hell is he? Why is this room, like, super cool, but everything else is not? I wonder not... if he still actually plays. He was obsessed with the guitar for a while in school, formed a band. They weren't all that good. Lasted all of six months. He's got... He used to love these consoles growing up. He'd spend hours locked into those games. I guess it was an escape for him after Ma passed and we were living at Aunt Sheba's. The worst period of our lives. He was such a quiet kid back then. He's spending his money on everything but what he should spend it on at this point. Okay. Turn the computer on. I should check this computer. Maybe it'll give me some clue to what's going on with him. A USB drive? Let me see if I can find one. A Wait. USB drive? Let me see if I can find one. There's definitely not one out in that other room. It's gotta be in here somewhere. This looks days old. Okay, yeah. Drawer junk. This could be it. Random drawer junk. Nothing useful. Okay. Nothing useful here. Can we just close the drawer then? Okay, how about that? That's great. Nothing useful here. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, this is this all this stuff is creepy. Let's put the USB into the computer. There we go. Safety, security, anomaly, anomaly. What? What was that? Playlog one game dot exe. I finally got it all set up. The Sandbox OS, a heavily secure modded Linux variant, running as a VPC. And the game contained within. This may be overkill, but it's better to be precautious considering the rep urban legends around this game. A single file not very cleverly named no instructions to think it took me nearly six months to track it down on the dark web the things i had to trawl through to find it things i don't think i can ever unsee uh i don't have much hope for humanity anyway we're broken beyond redemption i'll continue taking notes in these text files if this game is the real deal it make for an interesting reading i could edit it and put it and put out a reddit post maybe maybe do some accompanying video playthrough would be cool would be a cool way to start that gaming content channel i've always wanted to but never got around to doing it's easy to start a channel but not very easy to consistently put out content i admire those who do it with my track record of starting projects i eventually abandon i think i know how that will end up anyway first things first i have to get the game to work it keeps crashing when I click it. The lore says that it works at random. You just have to keep clicking. The code is probably corrupted. The urban legends around the game are fascinating, if not profoundly disturbing. For example, a guy who played it, and this is blank. Okay. So it's just gonna start up for me? Click to start. Okay, so what kind of inception is this? A game in a game. Hey, what is that? Is this meat on the floor? Is this the floor? What is it? It looks gross. What the freak is that? Oh, I don't like that. What is this? walk away from that I don't know what he's talking about but I don't want to hear it <laughs> I don't play with no stuff like that what is this stuff even saying where are we what was her brother into? He's into some weird stuff. Oh, it's another one here. Nope. Apparently there's another door somewhere that just opened. That, that kind of scared me a little bit. I'm guessing that was my brother because he just said Maya. Oh, the game crashed? Okay. Wait, that file wasn't there before. I'm sure of it. Okay. <laughs> Got it to run. First impressions. Creepy but mostly crappy. A grainy pixelated PS2 era style walking sim. I hate walking sims. Why do people make them? <laughs> the game game's also unstable. Crashed four times already. Good thing I sandboxed it. It's chewing up the up OS files and then randomly spinning them back. How? What? 
Oh, good thing I sandbox is okay. How is the OS still going? It's lost system folders, everything on the desktop, including my play log text, and even the recycle bin. The game has no credits, no title screen, no save load. Every After every crash, it randomly teleports you to different levels. It was hard to find, had to trawl through fake leads and BS. I would have given up sooner had I not believed that there was some truth to the stories. I finally stumbled on the game almost by accident. Following an, an unknown link what, to a file dump on an, uh, on an Onion server, I found it amidst cryptically named zip archives, some, some nah, many of them full of unspeakable images. I cannot talk. The myth of the game, which I pieced together, shifting through volumes of sh of crap posts for silvers, slivers of truth, suggests that only one copy can exist at a time, and that it selects the player by allowing itself to be found by those seeking it. It is said to have been birthed in the dark web, that seedy underbelly of humanity's worst impulses, forged not by human hands but by some unknown force. As I spent hours digging into this, the old compulsions are inexor inexorably English, I don't know, returning dark thoughts, guilt, a craving for alcohol. I've started drinking again. It's impossible to resist. The symbols in the graffiti are pre-Sumerian, suggesting an ancient entity, likely a greater demon that latches on to its host. Perhaps most disturbing is uh, most disturbing of all is the notion that it can, and then once again, this Let's play it again. It's supposed to teleport me somewhere else, right? Oh! It just teleported me back. It just put me back to where we were before. Which we were headed this way when the game crashed. And there's a door here. Nice. Okay. Mmm. What is this on the floor? It's gross. System failure restart required. I'm pretty sure that was Nick's photo in there. But that makes no sense. I've got to get this game going again. At this point, we should definitely leave this game alone. Like, I don't think we're like, we have common sense. Uh, we couldn't. Ah! Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> Just the lights. The electrics here are falling apart like the rest of the building. We can't have common sense. There's no way. There's no way. There's a player log, a play log five. Getting worse, growing signs of malevolence, walking nightmare, waking nightmares, oppressive thoughts, general malaise, malaise. I don't know. <laughs> An intense craving for a defilement, weird sounds from the other rooms, voices, footsteps, shifting shadows. An hour ago, the webcam turned on by itself and took a pic. I was able to identify the entity from the symbols in the graffiti. Bell Nagin, aka the ill spirit of guilt and grief. Here's the entry from Deacon, perhaps the only demonology wiki with some authenticity, a greater demon from pre biblical times first worship by the Langhai sect in then Sumeria requires human sacrifice feeds on fatalism guilt and grief manifest in the recurring nightmares of killers in the lust regret cycles of sex offenders and the dying few of dead men walking of dead men walking in the guilt borne by family members of suicide victims in the PTSD of war survivors 
and the haunting dread of the good people gone ir- irrevocably wrong a vile parasitical being that consumes those who it selects i thought at first that there was no point in the game point to the game just to walk from point a to point b activating shrines but the simplicity could be deliberate the patterns of the symbols the piles of refuse and filth the writings on the scrolls all of it suggests an invocation if so the point of the game may be to com- simply complete it have i made a, ter- a terrible mistake what have i awakened in the dark deep dark the game is trying to so the game itself um is pretty much like like keeping me from seeing whatever this is like the last words in each of his his logs okay it said that the game crashes and that you just click keep, keep clicking on it until it launches okay so it's teleported me somewhere completely random um okay i guess we're going to this side the left Bye. What? The freak did this? Okay, I thought this area behind me changed. I was going to say. Mm, let's go this way because this is where the game wants us to go. What is this? Did he lead me here? One of four collected. the freak is that okay anyway stop breathing so loud so far we haven't really been scared just annoyed by all this constant breathing and I'm not really down with satanic stuff at all Oh, there's something here. Am I supposed to collect all four of these? The freak. A door opened somewhere. necessarily scared some okay so this is back now that wasn't scary it didn't get me oh there's a little creep your eyes are red dude what up what you got going on This game is making my head hurt. I don't know if it's because of all this weird talking and stuff, but Maya, help me, please. You have to help me, Nick. I'm scared, Maya. It's awful here. Please help me. Hmm. <laughs> That was Nick's voice. I'm sure of it. I'm going to get this PC going again. I swear, like... (sighs) Hello? Is someone there? We're dumb. Like, the character we're playing? Completely dumb. Telling you. Makes absolutely no sense. It's too dark in here. I should get the lights on. You don't say. There we go. The lights are back on. Are you happy? <sighs> you good, bathroom? Ooh, <sighs> spooky. 
but that's impossible. <gasps> Nick, but his face, what is happening to me? <sighs> he told you to leave the game alone, you idiot. Like games like this, man, <laughs> it's not realistic because, oh, what happened to her? Oh, that's awful. How could the picture have changed like this? Anyway, games like this, like you obviously see something's wrong and you're just like dead set to, like I wouldn't even come in this room. I would have turned around seeing all this crap. I would have turned around and went right out the door. <laughs> like you see something's wrong and you're just dead set that you're going to play this game anyway. I need to find out what happened to him. Nick's a goner. <laughs> Peace out, Nick. That's it for you. Okay, player log 12. I saw Alex today. He was here in the apartment standing by the fall, far wall. He looked the same as he did when I saw him all those years ago on a gurney in a morgue the day of the, after the accident. His dead body cold, his face split open, his eyes wide. Despite his horrific wounds and the odd angle of his neck, he was somehow still alive. He called out to me. He was grinning, but I saw the hatred in his dead eyes. I survived the accident. Even though I was the one drunk and driving, I was flung out of the car and came to unhurt except for a few scratches. He wanted me to follow him. I begged for forgiveness, but I know it's too late for that. There can be no redemption for a man like me. I must go after him. I have no choice. First, I have to call Maya. I have to warn her. I have to tell her to stay put, not to come looking for me because I know Maya. She'll come looking if she doesn't hear from me for too long. She still feels responsible for me even after all these years. Still blames herself for my failures, even though she absolutely shouldn't. If only she knew that she's the last good thing left in my life. The reason I'm alive is because she saved me a million times already. But she can't save me this time, not from this. And I can't let her get hurt. If she comes here, once again, the game is blocking that. And Maya is stupid and refuses to listen to all of these logs <laughs> and everything going on around her. Maya's dead set on playing the game. So whatever happens to Maya, I do not feel sorry for Maya. And I suggest that you, the viewer, do not feel sorry for Maya either. Because Maya is going to get what she deserves. <laughs> Like, I feel no sympathy for her. Period. Okay, let's go out here. Because this is the only door that's open. Oh, there's another scroll down here. What is this stuff we're walking on also? Is this flesh? I'm guessing one of the doors... Opened. Okay. This one here. Yeah, this game, I'm not phased by this. <laughs> I don't know. It's just not doing it for me. <laughs> okay. We got all four scrolls. Great. This is open now. Who is this guy? What is this? What the hell was that? <gasps> Nick, wait! Nick! <laughs> Let's go out here into the dark. Ooh, why does the wall look like that now? Can we turn the bathroom light on? Yeah, let's make sure the bathroom is lit because if anything, we need to be able to see if we use the bathroom. All this other stuff, eh, it doesn't matter. Nick went this way. Nick! No, let's turn the light on first and have a look around. Ew! This place is definitely falling apart. 
Like, the freak? This is gross. Okay. Let's go out the door. Though I'm sure Nick is not in here. Or out here. The whole apartment now looks run down. Oh, freak. Nick, you Nick. good? Nick, stop! It's me! Hmm. Nick, your apartment is growling. Like there's a demon back there. scared okay Nick went this way did he go up or down oh he definitely didn't go up so he had to go down because there looks like something's blocking the stairs okay let's go down guess we're going down to the pit though there's no light down here why we would want to go down in the dark is just my I'm down here Come quick. Are you sure that's your brother? Hmm. You sound like he's got a stopped up nose. Bye, a bald hell. Come quick. I can't breathe. My nose is stopped up. I need to blow my nose. The tissue is burning my Maya, nose, Maya. Come on. I'm waiting for you, Maya. Girl, that Where is not your you? brother. We're all waiting. How far down does this go? Okay, good. The accident, Alex's death, my miserable life, all of it could have been different. If only you'd done what you were supposed to do. Who are you? What have you done to my brother? Some time later, I found myself back in the apartment. I couldn't remember how I got there. There was no sign of Nick, or the thing that had looked like him. And his computer would no longer turn on. I did the only thing I could. I filed a missing person report and flew home. It's been six months since then. I've tried every possible way to locate him, but there's been no word from him. I keep thinking about the thing I saw at the bottom of those stairs. The thing from inside the game. When it came at me, just before its awful malevolence could engulf me, something, or someone, stepped between us and shielded me. I think that's how I got away. I think... I think it was Nick who saved me. Nick should have let you die. <sighs> All I'm saying, should have let you die. Okay. <laughs> that was within. Now, I can't knock the game because the 
voice acting was pretty good. The game, the concept was pretty good. I'm just not really into satanic type games. So it was okay to me. Um, it wasn't really scary, but like, I mean, I can't develop a game. So who am I to say anything about a game? Anyway, hopefully you guys just got jump scared or spooked or, you know, you enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. Comment below, what were your thoughts on this game? Should Maya have died like Nick? I think she should have died personally because she was stupid. What do you guys think? <laughs> That's going to do it for me, guys. This was Ishin. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.